Round two. Land first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get to keep this. I mean, granted, we need some more lands, but we've got all three colors, technically, right? All right, so we're going to open up with Game Trail so we can play our Forge Master on turn two. Look at the mana fixing in our deck. Stone Quarry. Wait, I, I didn't remember to play Stone Quarry, I hope, right? Okay, good. Look at that fixing. Our fixing is almost too good. No Thraven Inspector. That's good news. That's a good draw, actually. Let's get our Forge Master out there. Blue white? I kind of like seeing blue white, to be honest. And we flip our dude? That is pretty insane. We're going to play the Blood Mad Vampire first because nobody nobody expects the uh, the white mana. I'll tell you that. Oh, beautiful. All right. So now, actually, I mean, technically, yeah, we could madness out a Blood Mad Vampire, but we'd need a second red. No, I think we're just going to play Blood Mad. My thinking is we can just kill whatever he plays and bash for a trillion, roughly a trillion. I guess we still would need another red mana to make the... No, I guess we could just play Wicker Witch. Okay. So, we're going to Lightning Axe that. Oh, yeah, I forgot we're running this terrible card. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Sanguinary Mage. All right, let's go. Uh, I'd almost, I'd rather discard the Sanguinary Mage, to be honest. So, let's get rid of this. Pay a red. Discard this. The bad news is we're going to flip our werewolf back. But I still think we want the extra creature. He still can't block with the spirit token on this, so that's good news. Drown Yard Explorer. Oh, that's decent, but... Hmm, I see. So if I attack with this, he can block with this. I think we just attack with everything. He probably eats the Wicker Witch and takes seven. I do wish I had a pump spell, but... Gotta get aggressive here. We have means to burn him out. Guess we'll play the land. Well, I can't rabid bite the blood mad vampire. That's good news. Cathar's companion. All right. Might need to actually chill out now. Well, he's tapped out. So what would his blocks be? Let's say eats let's say eats this, trades here, chumps there. That's still pretty good for him. Um He's got a grip full of goodies though. That's kind of the problem. Mm. So swing with everything. He goes eat, trade, chump. Or does he go block, trade, take two? I'm trying to think of his absolute best blocks here. I think his best blocks are eat the two one, like I said. 
I do kind of want to get this companion off the table. If he leaves mana up, I'm in, I'm kind of in trouble if I'm trying to be aggressive. I think I, I need to attack here. So eat the Forge Master, right? Trade this. Take Can't take three, so chump there. Yeah, so get rid of the Vampire. I think that actually may be too good for him. Let's just play the Killer and pass. Not in love with this play, but... If we've got werewolves, we've at least got, like, a bit of a late-game plan. The problem is he's going to have access to a lot of unknowns, so not easy. But we have, like, Avacyn's Judgment and stuff. Gargoyle's pretty good. Emberai Wolf. I think we can surprise him with that. So let's find another red mana to make the wolf better. Flip our dudes. Could have an instant speed spell and change the plans on that, but we'll find out. Nope, he does. Or maybe not. Alright. Flip dudes. Now he has to play two spells. We are going to have Delirium for our Double Strike Wolf, I guess. Okay. We did not have two plays, though. And we have Ember Eye Wolf. And he's attacking. Oh, I was going to say. If he's attacking, he's actually dead. He's really... He's kind of lucky he didn't attack there. That was it really... That was like the difference between winning or losing. He could still have something, though. It's not like we're out of trouble here. Hey, we did get the Delirium Wolf. That's kind of cool. So, um, if I play the Ember Eye Wolf and swing with everything, I feel like his blocks are still fairly profitable, especially with Cathar's Companion up. I think we just play Scourge Wolf and pass. We're just going to try and amass a better army than he has. Like, if I attack with everything, he makes this indestructible, he eats this, he blocks there. I think we wait another turn. I feel like a spell gets us pretty good there. I mean, we do have a double strike wolf now, which is pretty good. And next turn, I feel like we probably can attack because of Embry Wolf. Every single one of our guys is lethal, so we only need to connect with one dude. That's important to keep in mind. But this guy is a, is a problem, for sure. Gone missing. All right. We'll tolerate that. He's buying himself some pretty important time here, though. If he attacks with the spirit, he is dead still, which is crazy, but true. So I guess we just play the killer. We could actually play the Ember Eye Wolf, too, but I feel like the Ember Eye Wolf is the ace in the hole, right? That is the one that he's not expecting. Plus, it would flip our Flameheart Werewolf back if we did that. So I could attack with Scourge Wolf. And what's his block? I don't think he's got a great block here, right? If he can make this indestructible, he's got a pretty good one. Attack with this block here. He still trades. I think we chill another turn. I basically am I'm trying to get him to get just a bit greedy. Because if I can get him a bit greedy, I can kill him. We're 
We're also like an Avison's judgment away from We're so close to lethal. There we go. That's all we needed. So we actually turn off the Cathar's companion. He had deny existence? You SOB. The last, I, I don't even think I've ever seen a deck that ran multiple gone missings. That's mind blowing. Play the Forge Master. If I play the Ember Eye Wolf now. I don't know. I can swing with the Scourge Wolf again. If he has a spell, we're in some trouble. Maybe I need to get the spell out of the way. But otherwise, he's just going to crack a clue and find more spells. Man. Opponent is not making it easy. I think we chill. St we're running out of time, though, is the problem. Still have to hope he overextends. Like, the reason I didn't play the Ember Eye Wolf is because I'm still hoping he overextends. Jeez. Let's see, we take six, we go to ten. Next turn, you could swing here, so four, seven, eight. We're still not dead, but I'll be damned if we're not close. There we go. Well, judgment's pretty good. So let's say we get rid of... Let's say we Judgment, Companion, and Spirit. He's got six blockers. So if I... Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Kill this, kill this. He has four blockers. I play Ember Eye Wolf. And then I can't pump the wolf, though, so it's not lethal, right? You can block, let's say this even is successful, which there's no guarantee. He can block here. He still has good blocks. I think we have to flip. All right, I think we actually play, well, then I can't flip. Jeez. got six blockers currently. Hmm. Very, very difficult board state. So I could kill Stitchwing Scab and Spirit, take out his Flyers. That actually might just be the best play. He'd have to discard both cards in his hand. But then I don't flip my guys either. God, I want to madness this Avacyn's Judgment so bad.
have to flip these. Mm. God, this is so hard. Like, I don't have lethal if I can eat these two still, right? Because he still has four blockers. I have five attackers. Could have six attackers, I guess. So blocks my four biggest guys. One, two, three, four, and takes three. Assuming he's got nothing. I guess we have to go for it. We don't have to, but that's what we're going to go for. Dude had the goods. Wow. What a good, good to have. What a great card to have there. All right, let's just play the Ember Eye Wolf because I think we're screwed anyway. What a nice card for my opponent to have there. Wow. Multiple gone missings, confirm suspicions, deny existence. One of the strangest spell suites I think I've ever seen in Limited, in this Limited. We'll take it. Tenacity, nice. All right. Guess I'll make him figure out blocks because we are very dead. Very, 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 very dead. He, like, let me... I guess I wouldn't have killed him. I was going to say, give me an opportunity to win, but I don't think that's actually true. Even with Uncaged Fury. I guess... No, even Rush of Adrenaline wouldn't have done it. His blocks weren't even that good there, though. I feel like he could have done better blocks. But I wasn't expecting him to have the confirmed suspicions. That was my problem. And mul like I said, multiple gone missings is like, that's a mind blow. This does feel like a winnable match, which is the tough part of losing here. <laughs> Certainly seems like a winnable match. Um, Chasm, but he's got flyers. I guess we clip wings, but he's got spirits, which are so bad. Like, I can take out a Thraben Gargoyle. I can take out a Stitchwing Scab. Neither of those are very good. I, I would almost prefer Rush of Adrenaline in this match, I think. Um, I can Chasm. He does have a lot of ground blocks, right? Cathar's Companion the scarecrow maybe maybe i do chasm actually he's only got a couple flyers and then maybe that we ditch the rush okay 
kind of want to ditch the Sanguinary Mage too, but, well, maybe we can. Sanguinary Mage is pretty bad. And play the rush. 14 creatures is a bit low, but... Sanguinary Mage is just pretty bad. All right. I don't think Machinations is worth playing. It's okay, I guess. It doesn't seem that good, though. Should I give it a try? We'll give it a try. Screw it. Ditch the rush. Try this out. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this hand does enough. This hand's good. Keep that on top. So, this is actually not bad for us. We get to go machinations into killer, into resurgence on our opponent's turn. So we flip killer. Not too shabby, actually. I know what my opponent drew. Sure. So let's see. I can play the duelist. I'm not sure I want to. I want to flip my, my killer here. So into my opponent's turn, we play the resurgence. And then we get to jam a duelist. Because I think he's going to swing with this. Okay. So let's go resurgence. And then we actually get to make our duelist indestructible too which is cool not bad not bad No play. All right. So, ooh, it's kind of nice, especially with the judgment. It's pretty cool. We're going to go sensor, equip the howler, make it indestructible. He's also missing land drops, which is relevant here. Yeah. All 
All right. Well, getting there. Guess if opponent's getting land... Wow, there you go. Well, Machinations does pretty good when your opponent's land screwed. Lesson learned there. I think a lot of cards are good when your opponent's land screwed. But actually, to be to be perfectly honest, I thought Machinations played well there. And I didn't even use the uh, mechanical part of it, right? I didn't even use the deal damage to blocking creature aspect of it. Um, yeah, I still think we're probably staying the same. Hope and Chasm's good enough. Yeah, this is good enough. This is a hand that we are looking for. We even get to curve out reasonably well here. You know, Resurgence, not so bad. Vessel. Oh, sure. So let's go game trail, reveal the mountain, Embry Wolf. Swing for two. Now, I can attack with the Ember Eye Wolf. This is actually kind of cool. And if he blocks, he's in some serious, he's kind of in some serious trouble if he blocks. Because we can just flash out Howlpack Resurgence. So we just swing with Ember Eye Wolf. I don't think he blocks anyway. All right. So he's got Deny Existence mana up, but I do want to play Wicker Witch here. All right, so now we can flip our Gossip Monger. And then on our turn, we get to play Machinations, make our Wicker Witch indestructible. Plus... I can deal the damage to his blocker. Is Machinations doing work for us? I think it actually is. Okay, Drown Yard Explorers is a pretty good play for him. That makes me kind of want to not flip the... Uh, attacking with the Spirit. Hmm. I think we keep the Gossip Monger chill for now. So we can actually, we can go Machinations. Make our Wicker Witch indestructible. And he can't even block. So now I can probably a little more comfortably flip my Gossip Monger. We'll find out.
We'll see what he plays. All right. Good little tempo step for him, but... Hmm. Well, now we definitely get to attack. So we get to attack with both. I can Howl Pack Resurgence. And I want him to block the Ember Eye Wolf too. So we attack with both. He doesn't really want to block here either way. No blocks, so I think we just pump once and then play the Wicker Witch. I do definitely want to get the Resurgence out because of Ember Eye Wolf with Trample is insane. An indestructible... Ember Eye Wolf, Mac... I can't believe I wasn't playing Machinations. The card is incredible f right now. <laughs> oh my god. Still attacking. All right. So um what are we making indestructible? Make the witch. I think the witch. I can do the Ember Wolf, though. He's got confirmed suspicions mana up. I'm going to just do the witch. Um, let's do it at the end of combat. Because he'll still be considered blocking. Okay.
All right. We walked out of this one way better than our opponent, in my opinion. Like, yeah, he got rid of our Gossip Monger, but he's not going to be able to block too easily. I do need to get this Resurgence down, and I have a feeling, I'm almost positive my opponent has confirmed suspicions. But the good news is our board is such that him having confirmed suspicions is not good enough. Like, if he'd gone missings, I'd get to just draw Ember, I will slam it again and keep getting in. Okay, Niblis of Dusk. That's good. So now we can cast Howlpack Resurgence. Harvest and two, sure. Getting in there. All right. We're going to, this is the turn that we get to really do some work with Ember Eye Wolf. He's tapped out. I could actually have since judgment pretty profitably here. I think I might want to. I feel like a way I lose this I feel like a way I lose this is can I pump twice now? I can pump twice plus resurgence which means this is two six power indestructible attacking but yeah I feel like a way I lose this is through flyers but I think we just make Ember Eye Wolf indestructible and get that resurgence down. I, I don't think he can. I can actually make my Wicker Witch indestructible. And then I guess if he double blocks, then he can. Is that lethal though? Let me think about this now. Let's say I, I've only got six minutes. Okay, let's say I, I make this indestructible. I swing with both of these. I Howl Pack Resurgence. He just puts one in front of there. He probably puts both in front of That doesn't even work, though, because I've got the machinations. I think I just make Wicker Witch indestructible. He can't kill Ember Eye Wolf. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so machinations makes Wicker Witch indestructible. Swing with both. Machinations is insane. I feel like a dummy for not playing it. Because now this kind of like forces him to double block. Or, or just single block, I guess. But the resurgence is going to get it out of trouble. All right, so he's in Avacyn's Judgment range. So as long as he doesn't leave up confirmed suspicions, I think we got this. That is not confirmed suspicions. All right, we got it. Not good enough. We got there. We got there, folks, with our crazy build around Howl Pack Resurgence deck. You know, Ember Eye Wolf is legitimately insane with Howl Pack Resurgence. Okay. Uh, I totally did not think Machinations was as good as it is. Machinations is insane.
Wow. Wow. Got to the finals with this deck. Feeling good. Sideboarding into machinations. Should have played it in the first place. Wow. All right. We'll see you in the finals.